Team, what's going on? Here is a daily movement flow for you, a morning kickstart, a midday refresh, or an evening wind down. Looking to work on some breath work, work on some movement. We're not going too deep into the mobilization here, but we might go into some M range stretching. And we're here to either down regulate or up regulate, depending on what time of day it is for you and what you've got planned for the rest of the day. This is the first daily movement flow here in the new Acro Golf Studio. Uh, so really excited to get this one done for you um, and take you through this session today. As always, we're not gonna do any equipment. We just need somewhere comfortable to lay or sit down. We're gonna start, start on our backs. We're gonna work our way up onto our knees, finally end the session in a standing position and uh, get ready to either start our day, finish our day, um, or give ourselves that little midday refresh that we need if we're working from home. So let's come down to our backs. So let's just start with a little bit of breath work. Just have the feet up towards the bum, back nice and flat on the mat, and just place the hands onto the stomach. And what we're trying to do here is we're trying to make sure that we're feeling the breath come from deep in the stomach area here. Quite often it's really common for us to breathe in the chest. If you've done quite a few of these videos, you'll, you'll know that I talk a lot about this and we're thinking about changing this breath into this deep stomach area. So if you feel like you can need to place your hands there to feel that, just start taking deep inhales and deep exhales out. Feel free to play with your foot position. Feel free to tuck the back under, feel like you're playing with your tailbone. Just get into a comfortable position here. If you've been sat at your desk a lot today, then this is gonna feel quite nice just to relax the back on this area. Same if you've just woken up and you've been sleeping in bed, this is gonna feel quite nice. So just to kind of take this to the next area, all I want you to do is just start to drop your knees from left to right. So what you'll feel as you do this, just dropping the knees from, from left to right here, you almost feel like you get a little bit of self-massage across the top of the pelvis, which will feel nice. Uh, but what you'll feel is as you drop to the right, you'll feel like the lower back just gets a little bit of release as you let this left knee drop forward. And same on the other side as you let this right knee drop forward. So just drop over, feel free to just extend how much these legs are moving with each time that you rotate through. If you get a little couple of cracks and pops, that's totally normal as well. And we're just trying to work this from side to side. One thing we are trying to do this, we're trying to keep our shoulder blades and back to the shoulders flat on the mat as we do so. So I'm not trying to raise myself up, leave my shoulders down, and depending on how much mobility you have, you might be able to get the knees all the way down on both sides as you do this. So just opening up one way, just extending this as we go. Just working on our movement here, just waking ourselves up. Good, next position I want you to get into is just to tuck the knees up towards the chest. And just hold this position for me. Again, we're bracing in from the core here, making sure our breath is still coming from here. And we're just gonna hold this position for a few seconds. I'm gonna try and get my thighs parallel or perpendicular to the floor, and then my shin bones parallel to the floor. Toes tucked up, and I'm just gonna feel how this starts to activate the system. And just to make this the next level, we can just then take the hands up as well, and just hold into this dead bar position here at the top. Great work. Place the feet back down on the floor, but tuck the feet in together. So now I've got almost my like soles of my feet together, and I'm just gonna let my knees drop open. So I'm just opening up the knees, opening up from the groin area, and just letting my legs sink open. If you wanna still just kind of paddle from left to right, that's fine. But we're trying to open up the inside of the hips here. Good work. Keep breathing from the stomach area, maintain that breath, and just start to release everything and let everything fall open. Great work. Just roll onto your side for me. I'm gonna roll onto my right side here, just so I can face the camera to make it easier for you guys to see. I'm just gonna place one elbow down on the ground, and I've got my knees and hips almost at like a 45 degree angle. So I've got a 45 degree angle with my knee and a 45 degree angle with my hip. I'm just gonna place one hand onto my hip here. Now keeping my feet together, what I'm gonna to start to do is open up these knees into this position here. So I'm just raising up. I'm keeping this right leg down on the ground. I'm not opening up from the chest. I'm just trying to open up from this left hip and closing it back down. Just getting some movement into these hips. Just start to waking up the area of the, of the glutes. and relax it back down. When we then take the knees together, we can start to work the other way. Depending on how tight you are, you might not get much movement here. 
but now we're thinking of lifting the heels up from each other. So knees stay down, raise one heel, and place it back down. If you're limited in your hip rotation, you, you might only get to here, okay? Or you might start to get some cramping at the top of the hip. If you are getting that, then that's a sign that you need to do a little bit of hip work. So you might wanna do some self-massage work into the top of the hip or some self-massage work into the TFL. If you look that up, or if you go onto the Team Macro Golf platform, plenty of videos there for you to help with that. Good work, let's spin over, let's do the other side. Spin my microphone over. There's a nice gentle start to this today. Same position, hand on the hip, we're just gonna open up the knees to start. What we're interested in is, is there any difference between one side and the other? That also interests us. So especially when we've woken up first thing in the morning, did we do some training yesterday? Did we play golf yesterday? And is that affecting our ability to move one side, move the other side? Are we getting a little bit of pain, a little bit of stiffness? What's happening here? One more, let's bring the knees down together now and let's do ankles. So just raising these ankles or heels away from each other. Again, if we're limited in our movement here, this might be slightly restricted or we might start getting some cramp at the top of the hip, which is totally normal, depending on your level of mobility and depending on what your lifestyle is like. That is totally normal. Good work, let's spin this round now. And let's come into an all fours position. I'm just gonna do a little bit of work uh, on our upper back. So I'm just gonna widen my knees, I'm gonna bring my big toes together, and I'm just gonna drop my hands out ahead of me, push the mat away from me, drop my chest down towards the floor and push my tailbone backwards. From here, with my forehead resting towards the ground, I can take a full deep breath in, full deep breath out. And start to take this stretch a little bit deeper. Again, here what we'll find is the more that we breathe, or the better quality breath that we have, the more we'll just be able to sink deeper into this stretch. So really get control of your breath. You can be active through your hands, active through the ground if you want. Almost push yourself into the ground and then release with your breath. When you feel comfortable there, you can walk your hands over to the left-hand side, lean into that right armpit, keep in that breath, and then you can also walk your hands over to the right-hand side and drop down into that left armpit. Great work, bring yourself up, place the hands into the middle, bring the knees back together and bring your left foot up to meet your hands. So we're left foot all the way up to meet the hands at the top here. Right leg's gonna drop backwards and then we can keep nice and tall through the spine, tall through the forehead and start to bring ourselves into a nice low lunge position. Now what we can do here is from this front leg, we can either have our shin a little bit further towards the ankle, we can have the knee behind the ankle. I don't mind from here, I'm kind of more interested in what positions we have access to to move around here. So I've got definitely this right knee behind the right hip. That is a definite position. And this, right, this left leg that's up the top here, I can kind of pin my hand on this foot to stop it moving. And then I can just start to investigate what positions are available to me here. I can start to rotate the shoulders, I can rotate the hips, and I can just start to investigate today, and my version of me, and this will change for you every day, what is feeling tight, what is accessible, where do I maybe need to spend some time to do some extra work today. So just rotating, I'm just rotating through the shoulders now, just getting a little bit of movement here, rotating through the hip. If I want, I can turn my chest all the way away from this foot. I can drop back and push this knee away. It's an optional position for you, it's a much deeper stretch here, it's optional. And just moving and rotating away. I can also rotate the other way. I can almost give this leg a big hug as I rotate through. I can take this hand up and round if I want back over great work five more seconds on this leg and a swap it to the other side let's take this left foot back hands placed back down bring this back round right leg comes up meets up with the hands you can place the right hand on the right foot if you want you can walk this left knee back and again we're working in this position working forwards and back just playing with this hip position and seeing what's available. We're interested to see how this side compares to the other side. Is there more movement here? Is there less movement here? I can play around with my shoulders again. I can face the other way. The key here is we're still moving. We're moving the whole time, continuously moving into different positions 
and investigating how it feels to rotate from the shoulders and from the hips. Give me another 10 seconds here. Great work, let's bring both feet back together now. And I'm gonna spin around to face you as we place both feet head down on the mat. Now I'm happy for you to raise up onto your heels here and then we're just gonna play in our deep squat position. So I've got both feet kind of just winding in hip width and I'm shifting from side to side, allowing one heel to come up to the ground and one heel to stay down. So we're just shifting around in this deep squat position. I've got my elbows on my thighs. If I want, I can use my elbows to push my knees out a little bit, but I'm trying to stay nice and upright through the torso and nice and upright through the chest. Just playing around in this position. Don't worry if your position doesn't look exactly the same as this. Obviously it will depend on your level of mobility and how much kind of access you have to this position. If you, you might even be all the way down, fully squatted down, which would be great. And again, even if you are in this really deep squat position, just feel like you're trying to carry on moving. I don't want you just to be static here. So just continuing to shift left to right, just down in our deep squat. Just give me another 10 seconds here, guys, you're doing great. And just place both hands down on the floor, drive the hips up and come into whatever position is accessible to you as we're hanging over. So if you need a lot more knee bend here, you can have a lot more knee bend, or if you can go straight with the legs, go straight with the legs. What I would like you to do is release the tension and feel like you can just hang in this position. Just hanging, hanging, hanging. Releasing all the tension into the back of these hamstrings, back of the calves, lower back. Just hanging over, shifting from side to side. Great work. Now, if you want to work your way all the way up into a standing position, you can. I'm going to come back down to kneeling so I don't get, get my head chopped off by the camera. So you can be standing, I'm going to be kneeling here. What we can do is open up our arms, open up our chest, take a full deep breath in, full deep breath out, full deep breath in, deep breath out. One more here, full deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Great work. Guys, yes, that is your little daily flow for today. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you feel a lot looser through the hips, through the torso, uh, through the back of the hamstrings as well. Uh, ready to go and attack your day or ready to go to bed, down-regulate, whatever it is you've got planned for the rest of the day today. Fantastic work, and I'll see you guys in the next video.